is December 5th, 2010. Up until now, mom's been mostly forgetful, but functional. She knew where she was and what she was doing with me in my house. In the last couple of days, she's clearly crossed over to the next level. The other day, she was struggling to remember how to make ice water. She couldn't figure out how to tie her shoelaces. She put on two different shoes or left one off altogether. She sleeps in her clothes and she's hallucinating. She's waiting to see her long dead father. She's been searching for Grady, our beloved cat who died more than a year ago. Saturday evening when Bob and I reluctantly left mom alone to go to a concert in Manhattan with friends, I called from a restaurant to check on her. She answered the phone on the first ring and was freaking out. She reported that there were people all over the house playing loud music and having parties. She described seeing overpasses and trestles. She was afraid to leave her apartment because she might trip the alarm and upset Dan downstairs. Uh, we live in a one family home. I calmly asked if she could find her way to the bedroom and she said she thought she could. I encouraged her to find the bed and lay down until we could get home to her. We cut our evening short and I drove home like a maniac. Upon our return, I found mom flopped on her bed, in her clothes, kind of half on, hanging off. Uh, she opened her eyes when I rubbed her arm and she asked if I'd seen her, hu her, her husband and dad had died in 2004. And when reminded, she usually knows it. She also asked me if I had joined a cult. I knew she wasn't going to get better, but it's still kind of a shock to witness, with such, uh, to witness such a sudden decline. Thank goodness, thank goodness mom has long-term care insurance. She's gonna need it. 